Hello everybody, my name is Kingsticks. Today I'm going to show you how to kite like a god by using attack move click or attack move. And I'm also going to be showing you how they operate and using them effectively in general. So first off, you're going to want to press escape, go to hotkeys, player movement, and then normally your attack move click will be set to shift mouse button 2. I highly recommend you change that to R or a button you can click at your convenience. I play League of Legends with all four of my fingers on the Q, W, E, and R. So this is very easy for me to use since my pointer finger is constantly on it. I can easily access it at any point in time. And then I put my ultimate on T. So whenever I use my ult, I just move, move it over one. You might be wondering, then what's player attack move? A player attack move is the same thing as attack move click, except with player attack move, it does this circle. So first you have to click the attack move and then left click on your mouse. Overall, it is a slower, less functional, inferior way to kite in my opinion. So I wouldn't really recommend player attack move. I would highly, highly, highly recommend player attack move click over player attack move since player attack move click will let you kite at a faster, more efficient rate and in general with more accuracy as well since you're having to click less. So first off, after you set it to a button that you can click easily, what you're going to want to do is go into the practice tool because if you try this in uh, ranked first, you're going to get crushed or just in a game in general. So you're going to want to practice this. The normal click looks just like this. It's green. It's normal. It's lame. And the main issue, let's say you're kiting something and let's say I'm running away from this guy, right? If I'm kiting it and then if I accidentally click past him, like you saw there, as I shoot, move, shoot, move, if I accidentally click past him, well, I just walked towards him. I'm dead now. That one mistake just cost me my life. Or heck, it, instead of clicking past him, if I accidentally click slightly in front of him, that small movement could easily get you killed in League of Legends if the person's high damage or if they have CC. That could cost you the game, which is why I don't really recommend players in general from bronze to challenger use this click too much. It's good to use for practice on, by being precise, but in general, I wouldn't suggest people get too overly comfortable with it, especially if they are a AD carry player or a Twitch jungler player, because it can lead to a lot of mistakes that can lose you a lot of games and cause a lot of frustration. So what I suggest for this is using player attack move click, like I said, hotkeys, player movement, after you set it to a button. Now, once you set it, it will simply attack whatever's closest to your character. So as I move over here and I press R, it's just going to attack what's closest. So I have to move, shoot, move, shoot with using the attack move click. And uh, as you notice, it just attacks what's ever closest to me. So even if I want to hit this one, if I click right here, I can't hit it. To solve this issue, you're going to want to click escape, go into your game tab, and then you'll see this attack move on cursor. This is really nice. So let's say even if I am closer to this guy right here, if I want to hit him because I want to kill him first or he's low on health, we'll check this out. Boom, it attacks with whatever closest to my cursor. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This is a lot better for accuracy. So let's say I'm in between these two chumps right here. I'm technically in range of all three, but I want to hit, let's say this one. I'm clicking like slightly closer to him, but look, now I'm hitting that one. Now I'm hitting this one. Now I'm hitting that one. This one, that one, this one, that one. I'm not even having to directly click on them, which is the main point is, is if you were to normally misclick, you're going to walk towards it which is gonna get you killed. So even with a sloppy click, I can still easily land my hit on my desired target. So once again, go into the game tab, turn on your attack move on cursor. Now, another thing that I highly, highly, highly recommend you turn off is use movement prediction. I've tried it once or twice and it's honestly, <laughs> it, it's so, it's so bad. You only do this if you're playing over 200 ping, and even then I wouldn't recommend it because it just kind of adds even more input lag. Just turn off use movement prediction. It's not good in any scenario. <laughs> Maybe if you're playing at 500 ping or more or something, but just turn that off. It's really terrible and it will make attack move clicking or just shooting in general with normal click, with move click really freaking difficult. So turn that off. And then I would also recommend turning off auto attack that way because if auto attacks on whenever you even do a normal click, you can accidentally attack something which you might not be trying to do. And unless you're used to using the S key to, to cancel an auto attack, then it can be pretty awkward. So I'd recommend you turning off auto attack if you are learning on how to use attack move click or attack move. But like I said, use attack move click. And then uh, 
yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do. Turn that off, turn that off, turn this on, and then you can pop off like a god. And I would highly recommend if you are serious about getting good at it, like going in the practice tool and practicing it for at least like, I don't know, at least five minutes a day. And if you just practice it for five minutes a day, you could get pretty good at it. Now it's still possible to cancel auto attacks. It is still possible. It's more difficult to cancel them, but like if, if you if you're clicking too fast like this you see i'm not actually autoing anything like you can still cancel autos that's not what the issue solves what the issue solves is accidentally clicking past things when you're kiting like this so you don't get yourself killed because you can't click past it or too short when i click too short i still hit it when i click past it i still hit it Something to keep in mind though, when you are using attack move on cursor is let's say I want to hit this guy, but for some reason I'm just clicking like a madman and I'm swinging my mouse across the screen. So I move here, I auto, and then I click all the way over there. Since it is attack move on cursor, my attack move click all the way over there by a completely different target. I will start to run towards them, which is the same issue with the normal click. So I highly recommend that even though you are just using attack move click, you try to use it as responsibly and as accurately as possible. So even though I'm on attack move click, I'm still gonna try to get it as close to my target as possible. Because if you just start clicking like a madman and I click over there, then that fucks you up. Because if I'm on my ult, and then all of a sudden I click over there, I just had to spend a second and a half walking over there and now these two guys are gonna get me because I didn't actually wanna walk over there. I was just clicking like an idiot and that now here I am. So just still try to click as close to your target as possible something you also need to keep in mind is that when it comes to scuttle crabs attack move click doesn't work on them even after you've already aggroed it attack move just doesn't work so just use your attack move click directly on it for practice and you want to try to use it as much as you can as often you can another example is with monster camps unless somebody has already attacked it or unless you've already attacked it attack move click doesn't work you actually have to hit it first and then you can do it and not have to even click on it like this. But once again, I still recommend you click on the specific thing that you're trying to hit. It's the same way with every monster camp. If you use it, it doesn't do anything unless the someone's already hit it or unless you've hit it. And then at this point, I can just attack it like this. And it can make it a lot easier, not canceling autos, not clicking past it, but it's mainly to be used against champions. You should just be practicing it on minions as well. Now monster camps, that way you can get the hang of it. Once again, practice it at least five minutes a day. I recommend practicing it five minutes a day in training tool and also practicing it probably five minutes before you go to bed. If you do that in about 30 days, you should be way more comfortable with attack move click than just doing this regular old nonsense. And my main argument for the attack move click is not only does it help you juke like a madman because you can position your cursor and more options like this and I can easily just juke off instead of having to click directly on them not only that but whenever you're dealing with attack speeds 2.5 and lower and 2.5 is fairly high attack move click gives you a lot of precision while taking away the possibility of clicking past or slightly towards the enemy when that's not what your intention is so for example I'm gonna buy some attack speed items here this is a fairly girthy build so this example is mainly for late game right here. So as I go in, I got lethal tempo and then I'll just, I'm not really canceling any autos there. I canceled one towards the end, but I never clicked past the enemy. So I didn't waste auto time clicking past it. And I also didn't waste, I didn't click past it, which would have got me killed. I didn't click too short, which would have got me killed. Every auto was landed, even though I'm not like clicking directly on them, which is really, really nice. It's a, pe a lot of people in lower elo might just recognize it as scripting because they don't understand that for some reason League of Legends built that into the game. If you master this technique, you will look like a scripter because you're not missing a beat. You're not canceling autos if you get good at it and you're not accidentally clicking past people. With those two things combined of you can't accidentally click past them unless you click just way fucking off to the side like that. And if you get good at not canceling autos, you will look like a scripter, I promise you guys. And yeah, that is pretty much it. The last thing I wanna mention is I recommend turning the camera lock mode onto fixed offset. I feel like it gives the truest lock on your character. A lot of times whenever I'm in a team fight or if there's several people jumping me, I will keep my thumb on the space bar, which locks my camera on top of my character. 
to give myself more control of my champion so in this case I'll show you what I mean so as they go on me I just keep moving backwards and backwards and since it's locked I have a more linear feel of going backwards now if you're really good at playing with no lock on your camera that's fine too but I'm just saying for you newer players I would recommend having the fixed offset I'd also recommend turning off move camera on revive turn this off uh yeah and that's pretty much it guys that is gonna wrap up this guide if you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king six thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time